In this video, I'm going to take you through a fabulous lipstick I discovered. It is 5 in 1. Uh, it's from Rennie Cosmetics. I just wore this, which is I have this on. I'll take you through all the shades and tell you exactly how I feel about it. The pros and the cons both. Okay, stay tuned. Hi, I'm Parna Ganesh and I welcome you back to Joy Geeks. If you're new here, I create beauty and wellness content. I love to explore beauty inside out, which means that I really believe in uh, you know drinking a lot of water, eating healthy food, doing a lot of uh, exercise based stuff to keep your skin glowing and shiny. And then of course have fun with all the skincare and all the makeup to feel good and look good and all of that. So if you're new here, please do subscribe. If you haven't already, that uh, smiley on the left will help you. It doesn't cost you anything. So please show some love and be in touch with me by uh, clicking on the uh, bell icon as well so that uh, you won't miss a future post. Don't we all love lipsticks which are multi-purpose? In fact, I love a lot of products as well which are multi-purpose even if it's skincare. Definitely when I discovered this lipstick from Rennie, I was intrigued, I was curious, I wanted to see how well it performs. So I have tried it out for a while and they have two shades. I've got the red one, the red zone. I will let you know of my final thoughts of what these lipsticks look like once I've swatched all five and I'll tell you at the end of the video if this is worth it. This costs 750 bucks and there are five shades. It's often on discount, so about 600. I will tell you if it's worth it or no. Hang on till the end, okay? I think this is a very sleekly done lipstick. I am surprised how we didn't have this kind of stuff earlier. I think that the packaging is really sleek. It's black, it's minimalistic, it's functional. In just one go, uh, you will have all of these. So it's very travel friendly. I have to just take this from here. Like remember school days of uh, the pencils that we used to have, we used to take it from up and then put it below. And then you have the other shade going up. Only thing you have to be careful because you may ruin the shade altogether. I mean, I just need a little practice to do, you know, the uh, taking it from up and down and stuff. But it's not, uh, the packaging is not cheap or, you know, easily breakable. So I think that's really nice. It says uh, five shades in one lipstick pen ranging from bold red to subtle coral. I love the shades. The soft creamy texture glides easily and ensures comfortable wear. I totally agree. High pigmented formula, rich color payoff, 100% agree. Multi-purpose product, it's cruelty free and vegan. This is what I was looking for. What are the other features of this? This is cruelty free and vegan. So all of you, if you're on a budget or not, but if you would like to have cruelty free products, I think this is a good buy. And overall, the quantity is 7.5 grams. Normally, a full size bullet is about four grams. So I think that this is uh, definitely something you should try. Of course, I'm sure it's not uh, transfer proof. I think it's very minimal transfer. I could live with it and I'm excited that I could have these five shades. I'm excited to see all the five shades. I'm just one shade through. This is such a wonderful color. It is burnt orange, but so wearable for my skin tone. I'm loving it. I would like to tell you what I really like about this is that the pigmentation is solid. I like that the finish is pretty decently matte. It is not a satin or a comfort fit and it is not drying on my lips. The application is makhan like. I have worn this before and I have tested it out. It stayed really well. Beautiful red shade decently deep red shade that I really like. I don't think the shade is, you know, what is mentioned, what looks like on the outside is what the shade is like. Now this is looking orangish, but the shade is pretty red. If you can, if you know what I mean, right? So don't go by the shade exactly. It's just some reference, but I love the shade for sure. I could totally wear this uh, in a party. I could, um, wear it anywhere it's a nice red I'm excited to see the other shades okay this is the next shade it looks like a pretty pink like a nude pink oh 
This looks beautiful. I'll just wear this and show. This is such a pretty pink. I am in love with the shade because uh, it's bordering on slight, you know, like a uh, fluorescence, but it's not. It's working on my skin tone, I feel, and I definitely think this will be a hit with very fair skin girls and very dark girls may have to check it out. I'm not sure, but uh, two, three shades darker than me will also be able to work well with this if you like what it's looking like on my lips. So popping, still wearable everyday pink. Are you a pink lipstick lover? Comment and let me know. I want to see how many pink lovers. Of course, I love reds and I love nudes. But you know, each shade when you wear it, you feel a certain way, which is, which is why I say lipstick is an emotion. You know, even uh, beneath a mask, I have been wearing lipsticks. Hey, I'm not sure you are aware of Video Excellence Lab, which is my other YouTube channel. I will share that link below. I am thrilled to be sharing how you should shoot, how you should look confident on camera and stuff like that to really help you to, you know, uh, take the video game with yourself and create content if you wish to. A lot of you have been doing it, have reached out to me and I'm more than happy to help. Did you hear that peacock? I have been sharing in my Insta stories and uh, I will share more about Video Excellence Lab below. Now this is another shade which is a plumish dark pink looking shade and I like this too. You know this is a stick with all their reds and dark pinks and plums. They have another one which is all nude shades when I was ordering this that was not in stock but I do see it in stock right now. If you like this video and you like this lipstick and there are enough views and enough likes and there are enough, there is enough demand for the nude shade as well. I will bring that and I will swatch that for you. So let me know if you really want to see it, okay? For now, enjoy this. I do feel that they have given quite a range from all the shades that I wore now. They're completely different shades. So it's not an overlap. It's not just a red and a little dark red. You can even mix and match these shades, right? Uh, you know, like you can add the pink, uh, a little more to the uh, red to the pink and you'll have a completely different shade. Take this out. You have to be careful. You may ruin it, and I know we don't want to ruin our lipsticks. This is the last shade. This was the first shade, which was red, and now there is a deeper red. Deeper red. I love the shade of red. It's a lot deeper, like you saw. These were the five shades. It got a little smudged, but you can see the shades. This is a lot deeper than the earlier red, the first red that I bought and it's a pretty decent mix of uh, shades to have. I love this red as well. Renny Cosmetics is an Indian brand and I am more than excited to support any Indian brand which is doing well, which is coming up with products that is useful to us, which is performing well. Let's spend a lot more on these kind of Indian products which are performing well so that you know we help each other thrive in our businesses especially with corona going down i think we should be a little more conscious of course i not saying ditch everything else but make sure that you have an equal balance of spending a lot within our country as well i am looking forward to try the nudes as well because i feel that for reds they have got a decent uh, mix there is a pink in it too right so uh, you know and the coral shade i love well done, Renny. I really like this and uh, I would love to see what are the other products they have. I haven't, you know, checked out anything. If you have, please do comment and let me know what are the other products from this brand you've tried out, what you recommend me to try. I would love to uh, try on your recommendations because you folks always give me some fab, um, you know, names and suggestions. So I look forward to that. Again, let me remind you, if you haven't subscribed, please do uh, subscribe. I'm reaching close to 50,000. Let's all get together. Let's, uh, you know, share it with our friends. Uh, Team Joy Geeks, you're always here supporting me and sharing such lovely comments. Thank you so much for that. And I do look forward to celebrating with you as we go on in this journey. So just check on the subscribe button and uh, I will see you in the next video. All right. I look forward to uh, commenting along with you in the comment section. Bye.